Muscle loss, formerly known as sarcopenia, is a common condition that affects many adults over the age of 30. It's a silent thief, slowly snatching away strength and vitality. While this natural process is often overlooked, its impact is far from negligible. In fact, it can lead to serious consequences such as disability and loss of independence, transforming the golden years into a challenging period. Imagine not being able to lift your grandchild or struggling to carry a bag of groceries. These are everyday tasks that can become daunting due to muscle loss. Beyond these, sarcopenia can also pave the way for other health complications. It's a domino effect that can compromise overall well-being and quality of life. But fear not, while this may sound daunting, there is a silver lining. Muscle loss is not an inevitable part of aging. There are proven ways to prevent and even reverse this condition. So stick around because we're about to dive into them. It's not all doom and gloom. Science has shown us effective ways to counteract muscle loss. Let's delve into the fascinating world of biology for a moment. As we age, our bodies undergo a natural process known as sarcopenia, which is essentially the gradual loss of muscle mass. A research paper from Advances in Nutrition also observed in most cases, this loss of muscle mass is accompanied by the decline of other components of fat-free mass, such as protein and bone mineral. In addition, the percentage of body fat increases with age. But here's the good news. Research has indicated that this process can be slowed down, even reversed, through certain lifestyle adaptations. One of the most effective ways to combat muscle loss is through exercise, specifically, strength training. When we engage in strength training, we're essentially telling our bodies, hey, we need these muscles, so let's keep them around. This kind of physical activity stimulates the growth of new muscle tissue, helping to counteract the effects of sarcopenia. Now you might be thinking, I'm not really a gym goer, and that's perfectly fine. There are numerous at-home exercises such as push-ups, squats, or even lifting household items that can help you maintain your muscle mass before spending expensive gym membership. If you beginner, you could start small in number of repetition and sets. Increase the number of repetition and set when you're comfortable with it. Weight training should be performed at least two to three times per week, with 30 mins to one hours of quality training. The second piece of the puzzle is diet. Protein is the building block of muscle, so it's crucial to incorporate enough of it into your meals. This doesn't mean you have to consume copious amounts of steak or chicken every day. There are many sources of protein, including beans, nuts, seeds, and dairy products. National Intuition of Health suggested in order to prevent or slow sarcopenic muscle loss, a dietary plan that includes 25-30 g of high-quality protein per meal. Hydration also plays a key role in muscle health. Water helps transport nutrients to your muscles and aids in the removal of waste products. Researchers have found that less muscle breakdown takes place in well-hydrated muscle cells. Biochemistry Journal reports that decreased body water leads to shrinking of cells and breaks down protein. Drink at least 8 glasses of water to remain hydrated and ensure muscle development. So, make sure you're drinking enough throughout the day. Lastly, let's touch on the importance of vitamins and minerals. Certain nutrients like vitamin D and calcium are essential for muscle function. The best food sources of vitamin D are oily fish, including salmon, mackerel, and sardines. Other sources include egg yolks, red meat, and liver. The Institute of Medicine has placed the recommended dietary allowance, or RDA, for vitamin D at 600 international units IU, per day for young adults, and 800 IU per day for adults older than 70. Other experts suggest that adults' vitamin D needs are much higher. For example, the Endocrine Society recommends up to 1,500 to 2,000 IU of vitamin D daily for adults. Dairy products like milk, yogurt and cheese are rich in calcium and also tend to be the best absorbed sources of it. It is recommended by the Institute of Medicine's guidelines of 1,200 mg of calcium in women 51 years of age and older, 1,000 mg daily for men 51, 70 years old and 1,200 mg for those above 70 years of age. So. Ensure your diet is rich in these nutrients or consider taking a supplement if necessary. To wrap it up, maintaining muscle health as we age isn't as daunting as it may seem. It boils down to staying active, eating a balanced diet, and keeping yourself hydrated. So, as you see, exercise and diet play a significant role in maintaining muscle health. Besides diet and exercise, there are other factors that contribute to muscle health. Two of these are restful sleep and regular physical activity. They play a crucial role in the prevention and management of muscle loss. Let's delve into the world of sleep first. When we sleep, our bodies are anything but inactive. 
This is the time when a lot of healing, repair and growth occurs. It's a silent symphony of restoration and renewal that our bodies orchestrate every night. During the deepest stages of sleep our bodies release growth hormones which play a key role in muscle recovery and growth. Without adequate sleep this process is hampered leading to slower muscle recovery and growth. So it's not just about getting your beauty sleep, it's also about getting your muscle sleep. Now let's talk about regular physical activity. Some might think that simply reducing sedentary behavior like sitting less is enough. However, that's not the case. While reducing sedentary behavior is good it's not a substitute for regular physical activity. Regular physical activity especially strength training is crucial for maintaining muscle mass and strength. It's like a use it or lose it situation. If your muscles are not regularly challenged through physical activity, they start to break down. Furthermore, regular physical activity also helps improve balance, coordination, and flexibility. These are all essential for maintaining independence and preventing falls, which becomes increasingly important as we age. So how can you ensure you're getting enough sleep and physical activity? Well, it comes down to creating a routine that prioritizes both. Aim for 7 to 8 hours of sleep a night and engage in at least 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity most days of the week. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about being consistent. By ensuring you get enough sleep and stay active, you can significantly reduce your risk of muscle loss. Strength training and exercise don't just help maintain muscle mass, they offer a whole host of positive effects that reach far beyond your muscles. For one, strength training is a key player in maintaining bone health. By stressing your bones, strength training increases bone density and reduces the risk of osteoporosis, a condition that can make bones fragile and more prone to fractures. But the benefits don't stop there. Exercise has a profound impact on your cognitive function, memory, and overall brain health. Consistent physical activity has been linked to improved memory and focus, and even a reduced risk of cognitive decline. This is because exercise promotes blood flow, which nourishes your brain cells and helps them function optimally. From your muscles to your bones, from your memory to your mind, exercise and strength training serve you well. They're not just about maintaining your physique, they're about enhancing your whole quality of life. Starting healthy habits is never too late, and even small changes can make a big difference. We've journeyed through the science and importance of muscle health, especially as we navigate life after our 50s. We've discovered that muscle loss or sarcopenia is a common but manageable condition. Remember it's not about drastic changes but consistent small steps that can lead to a significant difference. Now we're curious to hear from you. Do you have any questions or perhaps some insights or experiences you'd like to share? We invite your questions, comments, and personal stories. Together we can navigate life after 50. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more empowering content. Until next time, take care, and may your spiritual journey be filled with love, joy, and inner peace.